let's be honest. Just a few years ago, humanoid robots were mostly stage performers. They looked impressive, sure, but they weren't doing anything useful in the real world. That's changing fast. In this video, we're diving into how Foxconn and NVIDIA built a robotic nurse that's already assisting real patients, how Singapore just brought in its first humanoid security robot, and how a startup backed by $27 million plans to send robots into shipyards. You'll also see the launch of Titan, a rugged robot made for harsh outdoor work, and a powerful new AI system from Carnegie Mellon that trains humanoids to pull, push, and open doors with force and precision. The era of real robotic labor is here, so let's talk about it. Let's start with one of the biggest drops at Computex this week. Foxconn, NVIDIA, and Kawasaki just revealed their AI-powered humanoid nursing robot, Neurobot. Now, this isn't just a hospital helper that rolls around with a tray. It's got real capabilities, perception, navigation, language understanding, and even the ability to adapt over time. It's been developed in partnership with Taiwan's Taichung Veterans General Hospital and is aimed directly at solving real issues in healthcare, things like labor shortages, patient monitoring, and caregiver burnout. Neurobot can monitor vital signs, help patients move around, deliver meals and medication, and offer companionship. And it's not just reacting to commands. Thanks to NVIDIA's AI platform, it processes massive amounts of data in real time. If something's off in a patient's vitals, it can flag it immediately. If a patient tends to get up at a certain time or needs help turning over in bed, Neurobot learns that and adjusts its routine. All of this is possible because of its high-res sensors, advanced NLP capabilities, and autonomous navigation. Early trials are already showing that nurses love it because it takes over the repetitive stuff and gives them more time for the serious work. And patients? They feel like they've got someone who's always around to help. While Foxconn hasn't dropped an official press release yet, NVIDIA's announcement makes it pretty clear. They're positioning Neurobot as the start of something much bigger. With hospitals under pressure and populations aging fast, robots like this might end up becoming part of the standard care team. Now, while Foxconn and NVIDIA are diving straight into healthcare, over in Singapore, Certus is taking a more cautious approach. They just unboxed their first humanoid robot built by Agibot, but they're calling it a research project for now. This thing isn't patrolling malls or scanning badges yet. It's being evaluated for possible use in areas like building security, customer service, and facilities management. Certus isn't new to robots. They've already deployed autonomous surveillance units and used service robots during the pandemic. But this is their first full humanoid designed to actually interact with people face to face, walk around, talk, assist, and maybe even coordinate with their in-house orchestration platform called Mozart, which ties together security, maintenance, and customer facing operations. The plan isn't to replace people, at least not yet. Certus is openly saying this is about figuring out how humanoids can fit into their existing systems, work alongside staff, and improve service without spooking anyone or breaking anything. It's a thoughtful, controlled rollout, and in a place like Singapore, which is big on robotics and automation, this kind of slow public experimentation makes sense. Now, remember when we used to say, just Google it? These days, it's more like, let's ask ChatGPT. And for good reason, AI is quietly streamlining workflows, improving decisions, and freeing up your time. If you're not using it yet, you're already falling behind. That's why I'm excited to share something from the sponsor of today's video, Outskill. They're hosting a weekend-long AI boot camp with 16 hours of live training this Saturday and Sunday from 11 in the morning to 7 in the evening. It's built to take you from beginner to confident AI user. Normally, it costs $895, but as part of this partnership, they've given 1,000 free seats exclusively for my audience. Across the two days, you'll discover more than 20 essential AI tools while learning how to craft prompts that pull off jaw-dropping results. You'll dig into data analysis without touching a line of code, watch Excel morph into a power tool, and whip up polished presentations in minutes You'll see how to spin up no-code AI apps, generate stunning images and videos on demand, build your own AI agents, and automate the daily grind so you can focus on work that actually matters. 
techies, sales reps, marketers, HR folks, freelancers, and founders alike have raved about the program. And with over 4 million participants from more than 40 countries already on board, the remaining spots are disappearing fast. Hit the link in the description to lock in your free seat, jump into the WhatsApp group for updates, and don't forget the introductory call this Friday at 10 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. I'm enrolling my entire team, and I'd love for you to be there too. All right, now over in Houston, you've got Persona AI, and they're sprinting out of the gate. They just pulled in $27 million in their pre-seed round, and that's no small feat. This isn't some hype-heavy operation with a slick website and nothing to show for it. Their founders are legit, all ex-NASA robotics pros, with Nick Radford, who led Nauticus Robotics, plus Jerry Pratt from Figure AI. So you know these guys are serious about building robots that actually work. Their whole approach is tackling the kind of work that chews people up. Shipbuilding, big manufacturing sites, outdoor environments where you need real muscle and dexterity, not just a shiny casing. These robots are being engineered to handle demanding tasks with human-like agility and heavy-duty durability. Persona's mission is straight up. Fill labor shortages, make workplaces safer, and give companies a way to upgrade without dropping millions up front. That's why they're pushing the robotics as a service model. Instead of buying a pricey robot, you just rent what you need and let Persona handle the rest. And this isn't just slideware. They have already locked in an agreement with HD Hyundai, the world's largest shipbuilder. The plan is to deploy these humanoids in shipyards with the first rollouts happening in about 18 months. So this isn't some maybe someday thing. It's got a real world clock ticking. And they're not the only ones moving into this space. Roboforce just launched its own industrial robot, Titan. This one's built for the trenches, ready to take on the kind of jobs that most robots and honestly, a lot of people want to avoid. Think mining sites, solar farms out in the blazing sun, big industrial manufacturing floors, even off-world construction someday if RoboForce has its way. The robot comes in two main versions right now, one with wheels for smoother surfaces and another with tracks if you need to tackle rough or uneven terrain. The design is fully modular, so you can swap out bases and attachments depending on what the job calls for total hardware hacker vibes, but for big business. And under the hood, Titan is running AI that's not just an afterthought, it's woven directly into every bit of hardware. That tight co-optimization means Titan learns, adapts, and can handle environments where conditions change hour to hour. On the numbers, Titan can pick up and move items with one millimeter precision. That's the kind of accuracy you usually only see in fancy lab robots, but this thing does it outdoors. It handles up to 40 kilograms, so we're talking real lifting power, and it's got 1,100 millimeters of reach in its arm, enough to tackle big, awkwardly shaped materials. Plus, it can run a full eight-hour shift on a single charge, keeping up with human workers and then some. But maybe the smartest part of RoboForce's approach is their focus on what they call the five primitive actions, pick, place, press, twist, and connect. Instead of overcomplicating things with endless custom programs, they're perfecting these five core movements. Most industrial tasks, whether it's installing solar panels, wiring up an assembly, or hauling equipment, boil down to these basic actions. Master those, and you've got a robot that can work across almost any sector with minimal retraining. And RoboForce isn't just talking a big game. With this latest funding round, an extra $5 million that brings their total to $15 million, they're ramping up in Silicon Valley, growing their team, and setting up a new headquarters packed with advanced development and testing facilities. The company's already working with real clients, running pilot programs in everything from manufacturing to space tech, with more coming down the pipeline in 2025. RoboForce's founder, Leo Ma, is clear. Titan is just the starting line. There are more robots, more domains, and bigger ambitions on the horizon. The whole idea is to lift humans out of those repetitive, risky jobs, freeing people up for work that actually needs a thinking brain. While Titan and the bots take care of the heavy lifting, the dangerous stuff, and the work that never ends. All right, now at Carnegie Mellon University, researchers have been working on something called Falcon. It's a control framework built to solve one of the hardest problems in robotics, forceful loco manipulation. That's a fancy way of saying walking and using your arms at the same time while applying strong, precise force. 
Think of tasks like pulling a cart, opening a heavy door, or lifting a load. Stuff that's easy for us, but brutal for robots. Falcon works by training two AI agents separately, one for the legs, one for the arms but they both share data in real time. This dual agent setup allows humanoids to maintain balance while applying force with their hands, something that's usually incredibly hard to do. They tested this on Unitree, G1, and Booster T1 robots, and the results are solid. The system handled real-world disruptions like unpredictable force, shifting loads, and awkward angles. One robot could apply up to 100 newtons of force, roughly 30% of its body weight, without tipping over or losing precision. Falcon also improved arm accuracy by 100% compared to older methods. Now, it's not perfect. The framework struggles a bit with rotational tasks like twisting a handle or using tools that involve torque. It also doesn't account for forces on parts of the body other than the hands, so no leaning or pushing with your side yet. But it's a huge step forward in making humanoid robots truly capable in messy, unpredictable environments. So yeah, this whole sector is evolving fast. Companies are signing real deployment deals. Governments are supporting pilot programs. Startups are getting funded based on real-world utility, not just flashy demos. Robots are stepping into jobs that used to be too complex, too dangerous, or too expensive to automate. And they're doing it faster than most people expected. Now here's the real question, how long before these robots aren't just supporting us, but quietly running things behind the scenes? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.